Hey, I'm back. Been a while, I think a couple years, <laughs> something like that. Uh, I did the Let's Play of Elden Ring, but otherwise it's been a while since I've done like a big video and I figured I'd talk about why, why I'm back, where I've been, what I've been up to, and what I have planned in the future. So let's do this. To start, where I've been is I've been working at GameSpot and I've been working on my own personal game. Um, with a friend, Alan, and I'll be showing that. We're finally showing gameplay for that. Uh, but, um, I used to work for GameSpot Universe, and at one point, I transferred over to GameSpot, the games team. And when that happened, because of potential conflicts of interest, I wasn't able to do my YouTube channel anymore. But, it wasn't a bad thing necessarily, because I would do YouTube for work, and then I would go home, I mean, I was working from home anyways, but I go home essentially and do YouTube more and it was exhausting. So I kind of saw it as an opportunity where instead I've been wanting to make a game my whole life. I double majored in computer science, I double majored in game design, and opportunity came when my buddy Alan, who's just an incredibly talented artist, came to me and said he wanted to make a game why don't we combine forces? And since I have a background in programming, even though it's been a while, I just dove headfirst into Unity. Um, I'll also be teaching myself on Real Engine, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, but headfirst into Unity so we can make games together, and that's what I've been working on. But uh, I have been making videos. If you guys have missed me or my content for GameSpot, I have a playlist of ones that I'm really proud of that I made for them. I made some shows I really loved. Um, just a lot of stuff that I think is great. But they had a, another round of layoffs, and unfortunately, I was affected. Now, I'm not doing this to ask for pity. Uh, just more so, honestly, to announce that I'm making videos again, because now I can, and that's what I'll be doing, at least uh, unless I find something else that makes it so, you know, I don't have time, uh, quite frankly. Um, the other thing is that I also want to talk about my game because I'm really excited about it. And what I'm going to be doing with my time is working on stuff for my channel and I'm going to be working on my game. At some point I might make a video about the difference between working for a YouTube network or like a, a video game journalism site like GameSpot. I never really saw myself as a journalist. I really always viewed myself as an entertainer. But the difference between that and being a YouTuber, both the pros and cons, um, I mean, honestly, a lot of it really just comes down to stability and the fact that the nice thing about having your own YouTube channel is people know you. Let's start, though, with um, what I'm going to do for this channel. So my goal and what I'm working on right now are game design retrospective videos like my Dark Souls one. Um, I also made one on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, kind of like a mini one for GameSpot, but... Uh, I've been working on what's probably going to end up being like a three to seven hour long video retrospective on Mega Man's 1 through 11. And I'm very excited about that. I've been slowly working on it for a while now. So I'm looking forward to that. I want to do that type of content more. Uh, people have asked me for other ones, so maybe I'll do some of those. Uh, I've been asked to do more super shows like Elden Ring and uh, Shovel Knight, for example. Hold on. Uh, and like Shovel Knight, I even had props ready to go and made before I stopped doing my YouTube channel. That was expensive, by the way. But frankly, the Super Shows just never really took off, and they take such a long time. I'm not sure if I'll make more or not. Maybe I'll finally go back and finish that Shovel Knight one I'd start working on. Maybe I'll do an Elden Ring one because I've been asked about it, but I I can't say for certain. Uh, but I'm just going to really make stuff that I care about, that hopefully you guys care about, and that's always been the goal with the channel. So, um, that leads me to what I care about a lot right now, which is... The game I've been working on, which I'm very excited to show. Uh, the first gameplay reveal that we've done. We've been working on this game, Chivalby. For almost two years at this point, as of me recording this, and... It takes a lot longer than you'd think to make things, as I'm sure you hear from anybody who makes games. I know in some ways it might not look like a lot, but part of that's because backgrounds aren't in yet. Like, the background we're using is just placeholders. Uh, the water's just just temporary. Um, but everything else, like the animations that you see, the ground that he's running on, that is made by my buddy, Alan. He made that uh, all hand-drawn, all 
pixelated, hand pixelated by him. Uh, he's a super, super talented artist, as you can see, and animator. So something you start to realize when you make this stuff is how many little things that you might not think about. Like, for example, just something as simple as a jump. How do you handle the jump? How do you make it feel good? And that was a huge factor for us because we're doing an action platform game is the jump has to feel good. It has to feel good. That's like kept on reiterating on it. So those are minor programming things, right? But then there's other things like when you hit an enemy, how do you make sure that the hit detection works in a way where every time you hit it, the, the particle effect is going to happen at the right spot in the enemy. And not only that, but then you have to animate and create a particle effect for it. So it's just another thing that, you know, when you think about art, a lot of times I think a lot of people think about the cool character animations or if there's an interesting background. But particle effects and things like that are another important factor that has to get done. Um, we talked about for a while doing drillable ground. We finally added that in. And how do we handle that? The ground that you walk on, it shakes. You can't see it in this. But that created a whole issue of programming things that I had to solve um, to make that shaky ground so it didn't affect other issues with, I think it's a Unity thing, um, but then how are we going to handle when you hit it? And I created what I call the popcorn effect where there's kernels that kind of pop and explode like popcorn, kind of inspired by Sonic. Um, but you know, there's just like all those little things that come together. So we're, we're kind of at the point now where we're moving on to some other things. We have the basic core gameplay working. We, we've we been working on the prologue stage a lot, which we're going to come back to, but there's there's a lot of features that we want to have in this game that we haven't gotten around to yet, which we're now going to be moving on to and coming back. So uh, probably won't be another three or four years that we're ready to even have something like a Kickstarter. But I just wanted to show you guys, you know, what I've been working on, what I've been spending my time on. And I think a lot of people might expect me to work on something like a Dark Souls game because that's what I'm known for, or Kingsfield. And uh, actually, there's another game that we're going to be working on that I haven't talked about yet, but uh, Kingsfield, I've been slowly working on design ideas for that and concepts uh, for a Kingsfield-like game, how I'm going to make it different, what I want to do to make it different and unique in my own thing. And that's where I'm going to be learning Unreal Engine and teaching myself Unreal Engine on top of Unity. And kind of taking, I don't know how long it'll be before I get my next main job, uh, more stable job, but um, kind of taking opportunity of that extra time to teach myself Unreal Engine as I taught myself Unity. Because I think Unity from everything I've known or heard is better for 2D and Unreal Engine is better for 3D. And that's why we chose Unity for Chivalry, which you see. Um, and another project that we're working on, and another one that we want to work on that's 2D. Um, but yeah, we're really excited. Um, actually, that's what this uh, jacket is, is our company jacket for our company that we started. So uh, hopefully we have a lot more exciting things to show you guys, and I'll have a link to all that stuff. Please consider following our uh, Twitter, X, whatever, um, Instagram, YouTube channel for this, for updates on Chivalry and everything else that we're going to be making. If it's not your kind of game, I get it, I understand, but hopefully one will be coming out eventually, that's your kind of game. Uh, but we're putting our heart and soul into this. This is like our dream project, essentially. Um, it combines Mega Man, Castlevania Symphony of the Night with the uh, the dive mechanic of Castlevania Symphony of the Night that you see there. Um, that's actually, it's not a Shovel Knight bounce, it's not a Link's Awaken, Link's Awakening, it's not a Link 2 bounce, it's not a DuckTales bounce, it's very specifically designed around Castlevania Symphony of the Night, and then with the added addition of the uppercut that you see and some other elements that we're tying in. Uh, Non-linear structure like Mega Man. Uh, it's not a Metroidvania, it's going to be more like a Mega Man structure. So um, we're very, very much looking forward to it. Anyways, all that said, I'm excited to be making content on Dave Control again, especially because some of the content stuff that I wouldn't have been able to make on GameSpot, like uh, seven hour retrospective on Mega Man 1 to 11 or whatever ends up being three hours who knows that is not a video that would go on a network like GameSpot but it is a video that I can put on my personal channel uh, because it's something I care about and I can do what I want <laughs> so uh, that's what I'm gonna do so anyways uh, please uh, stick around I hope I make stuff that you enjoy and if not I obviously understand if you unsubscribe but also consider checking out Chivalry, consider checking out Ophidian Interactive, that's the name of our company and what we're doing. And please, 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 uh, if you have any interest whatsoever, uh, follow our dev journey. We'll probably be streaming on Twitch as we make stuff as well. 
um, and we'll be posting updates through over the years. Again, this is a very, very alpha build that I'm showing and that the trailer is, but um, check it out. I'll have links and everything. Later, guys, and I will see you soon. I will see you very soon in a normal video that would go on this channel. Later, guys.